Hi everybody! Welcome to this Highway Vlog. I'm Judy. And I'm Jim. And it's Sunday. We're at our house. That means church, family, and food. So we'd like to invite you into our house for at least a little bit of food. So in the immortal words of Paul Henning, sit a spell and take your shoes off. What you making there, wife? I don't know what we're calling this. It's, uh, cabbage and sausage and cream cheese and salsa. So you got a name for it? Because I don't. Cabbage stew-ish. Cabbage stew. <laughs> cabbage stew, cabbage soup, cabbage... What's the difference between soup and stews, by the way? I do not know. That would be something to figure out. <laughs> something to ask someone? Because I don't know. If we're only we... are professional cooks. If only we had, like, an unlimited source of knowledge right at our fingertips. Yeah, you know, back in the day where we had to go look it up in a recipe book somewhere. So you're breaking the cabbage up and you're putting it in the, uh, the, uh, what do we call that? Microwavable rice cooker. Right, our handy-dandy little rice cooker. That gets used for everything but rice because we're trying not to eat so many carbs. Right. <laughs> And I like to rip cabbage up. I'm sure there's a much easier, simpler way than this. My mother would tell me there's a much easier way. I think she did the last time I did this. Use a knife. At home. Yep, use a knife. But uh, I like I like the stress relief of ripping it apart. Okay, so you're just going to basically fill that pot full of cabbage. Yep, I'm going to use a whole cabbage. Got it right here when I get that done. Are you going to use the whole cabbage? Yeah, I'm going to use the whole thing. All right. It should fit in there. I don't know, you're the one who picked that out. So. It's a nice cabbage. It's a nice, hefty, hefty uh, cabbage. Hefty. Oh, probably can't say that, can I? So you're done cutting up the cabbage. Yep. How much did you get? I did the whole pan, or did the whole cabbage. All right. And that's how much I got. So I'm going to let it cook down a little bit, and then we'll add some stuff to it. Into the microwave. Into the microwave. we go! Which is what we do. It's good. <laughs> Stirring with a knife. Stirring the cabbage with a knife. I did do that, but it's cooked some down. As you can see, we're not overflowing at the top anymore. We're still cooking down, and um, I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for a little bit longer. That's I think um, I think it's been in about six minutes so far, maybe nine. nine and yet it only seems like just seconds ago. It was just seconds ago, really, really. So I'm putting this in here for a little while longer. I did add about a half an onion. So however you like those cut up, um, you could leave them, you know, big long things or you can chop them up. I chopped them up because I wasn't thinking in the first place because I like cabbage for um, probably about 10 minutes. I'm going to add some butter and a little bit of garlic and throw it in there for a little while longer. So I just added a couple tablespoons of... Oh, look, light. Oh, we're back now out of the microwave and now she's got a whole bunch of other ingredients that... Nobody can see what they are. Right yeah. here in front of us. Right here. We got a uh, great value restaurant style salsa. And I get the medium because I like mine a little warmer. And after it cooks out a little bit, the, the warmth kind of goes out of it, the hot and stuff. Okay. But as you can see, where is it? Oh, gluten free. Gluten free. And the great value salsa is not all salsa is gluten free. So just make sure you check the labels with that. And so I'm going to use some of that. Um, we also were looking for kielbasa sausage today and we couldn't find any that said gluten free on it. So we opted for the Johnsonville that I'm dripping all of that all over the place. Um, and uh, so Johnsonville brats and Johnsonville sausage and everything is they are gluten free, but these are already cooked, so I didn't want to put them in too soon because right. they're just going to lose all their flavor. Right. And that's a mom tip. Mom said, now make sure you tell everybody that you don't put that in until later, until after everything's cooked. Yeah. Judy's mom is like the best cook on earth. <laughs> Shout out to Lynn. Yes. Hey, hi, mom. <laughs> so, and then we're going to add some cream cheese. And again, I'm just going to because I have a whole cabbage that was whatever size it was, so I can't tell you exact members, measurements, but we're just going to throw some things in there. Imagine that. Not Don't exact measurements. Don't say they're not exact measurements, but 
I'm going to start out probably with about a half a jar of salsa and see where we get, what we get. Oh, by the way, fun fact, um, Jim could tell you a little bit about this. A lot of salsa has what ingredient in it, Jim? Cilantro. And who loves cilantro? Not me. And why is that? Because it tastes like soap. Soap, really. He thinks it tastes like soap, people. Does anybody else out there think that cilantro tastes like soap? There's about 10% of us genetically, because I have it, my daughter has it, my son has it, cilantro tastes literally like soap and none of us like it but you know my other daughter and judy are fine with it yeah but that is uh, it's just a genetic thing it literally tastes like dishwashing soap and some salsa has it in it like as one of the main ingredients and others just kind of have it thrown at the end that means it doesn't have as much in it you can usually handle just a tiny bit of it i don't like it but you still don't like the taste of it that much yeah. So I threw in a half a jar. I'm going to throw in some, yeah, maybe about two or three ounces of cream cheese. Yeah, that's more than two or three ounces. Okay, whichever. This is eight ounces, so great. No, 16. I lied. This one's 16. So that's probably about four or five ounces, maybe. Yeah. Oh, just, just guess. Stir it up. I'll just, cut this other up and put them in there. Yep, and then now <laughs> get the sausage up. And again, sausage depends on how much you want in it. You know, we'll a see. lot is better than none. Jim likes sausage. I, you know, I can, I like some. I don't have to have it in every single bite, but you Jim would not does. believe how good this tastes. It may look like cabbage and salsa and cream cheese. It's like the best <laughs> stuff on earth, especially if it gets cold out. I mean, you know, some people make chili, some people make soup. We make this stuff. Yeah. Uh, cabbage and sausage is, is a comfort food. I don't, I have to admit, when I was a kid, I, th I turned my nose up at stuff. And this is not the way my mom makes cabbage and sausage. I just kind of no. decided that I was going to. So now you're just going to cut that up, right? Yep. And you can either cut it up in little tiny pieces or you can just cut it in chunks. You know, whatever you want to do. And I know, safety knife, people, I'm not very safe, I know that. So when you're doing this, you know, try to do it the correct way. Yeah, try not to slice your finger off. I am not a professional, and obviously the knife isn't very sharp. The knife sharp? <laughs> it needs sharpened, I think. Well, so, how many did we want in here, James? Uh, go with four. How many did I do? That's three. Three? How about we stir it up and see what it looks like before I add the fourth one? Whatever. And um, we use the New Orleans smoked sausage. I have no idea. I've never tasted it. So we'll see what it tastes like. It just sounded like it would go with the salsa and stuff. I don't know. But you think maybe it needs another one? Eh. Sure, why not? You think that looks like enough salsa and no. cheese? No. Yeah. Cream I think, cheese? I think so. I think so. A lot of times you will actually put sour cream in sour here. Cream but in I here. kind of forgot at the store to get some. Even though so. it was on your list? Oh, yeah, well, it was not on my list. I forgot to write it down even. Whose fault is that? Obviously not yours. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> that Actually, should be good. I should just blame it on you because that would be so much easier. Yeah. You should have reminded me to put it on the list. What were you thinking? Mm. Thinking so. it wasn't my responsibility? Mm -hmm. No, it never is. All right, Especially so. making a list. So that's pretty much what it looks like for now. And We're I'm going to stick it in there for a little while longer and get it, get the sausage all warmed up and, yep. and then we can eat. Then we'll show you what it looks like then. Which will be about the same. Yeah, probably <laughs> much. There it is. It's finished. Done. And everything. So. Forgot to mention too, if you want to do this in a slow cooker, you're more than welcome to. And I am sure Miss um, Petra had some ideas on how you can do it in her ninja foodie um, but yes. this is what we have available uh, and so we use it and put it in the microwave but you can do it in a slow cooker and let it cook all day long but again don't add your sausage until um, when it's almost done because your sausage will just lose all the flavor to it it'll just be not flavorful at all I uh, wanted to talk real quick this is a very good low carb meal 
The cabbage and Jim, you have to remember because I don't remember what you said. For what I saw online, a cook or a cup of uh, cabbage, I think that's raw cabbage, uh, has 5 grams of carbohydrates, but it has 2.2 grams of fiber, so that would be 2.8 grams of carbohydrates per cup. Way to go, Matt. And I think you put uh, maybe mm, six, eight cups in there. So this whole pot, cabbage-wise, has probably got less than 100 calories. Yeah. And then um, I did wind up adding a little bit more cream cheese. So it's probably more like an eight-ounce uh, container of cream cheese. And cream cheese itself only has two grams of carbs in it. And no grams of fiber, of course. But, and then... Uh, the salsa that we have here um, has two grams of carbs and only it has one gram of sugar in it. So that's a little high. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, different still, salsa. You could find one that's less than that. It's mainly tomatoes in that. Yeah, I think this uh, is actually pretty much the lowest. It's not added sugar. It's just total sugar. And the then there's uh, two grams of carbohydrates per link. So we put four in there, so it'd be eight grams total in the whole pot. So yep. it's not the greatest of low carb stuff, but it's really good. It is low carb. What are you talking about? Whatever. Low carbs less than how many ever grams? So all of this has less than two grams of carbs in it. But you put it together whatever one serving of all right so that's it i don't know what we're going to call this i just like to call it cabbage sausage you called it cabbage stew before cabbage soup cabbage stew cabbage sausage cabbage salsa cream cheese sauce hey why don't you guys you know give think us of a, a name. suggestion what should <laughs> we call this what do we call Is this, this like uh a mess know, cabbage stuff i don't know all righty so there you go this uh is really good and i'm sure there was something else i was going to say about this but I right don't well what i know what you wanted to say if you like content like this please like and subscribe that's exactly it that's exactly what i was going to say and we'll see you in the next video thanks right. again folks so long